one of the things that was talked about in this article, the counter that they placed to uh, perfectionism was developing your adaptability. And I thought that that was very, very interesting how they chose that word as the counter to perfectionism. But that's the one thing that they really said you need to start to, to get more comfortable with is just being more adaptable, being more pliable, you know, uh, allowing yourself to be able to flex in and out and, and to kind of bob and weave and not be so stiff, you know, with that whole perfectionist piece. I, I think that's a key part, especially for your emotional health piece of it. And then obviously the, the physical health piece is the stress that it can cause, right? From trying to make sure everything is absolutely perfect. So adaptability is, I think, a key component. But where I wanted to go back to from there is something that came up and both you guys open with that word, and that is balance. Because I think, you know, when we think holistically and you think holistic well-being, we, we want to seek balance. I actually take a, a little bit of a different philosophy from that myself. And I've, all, I've started about two years ago to replace that word balance with harmony, trying to find a harmonious place. And the reason for that is when you talk about balance, that literally is a razor's edge because the only way something can be balanced is it has to be proportionally equal on, on either side, right? And in, in most ways, that's unrealistic. You may get it there, but then the stress of trying to keep it in that perfectly balanced state, it's like a seesaw, yeah? How do you get it to where it stops just like this and then doesn't tilt this way or tilt that way, right? So I've started to look at it from what are the things I need to do within my life to get things to just be more harmonious? Well, not necessarily balanced, but I am flowing, I'm having this adaptability that I just talked about, I'm not being as rigid, and that allows me to try to keep things more in harmony, almost like a sheet of music, right? Sometimes the notes move up or down, and you got highs and lows, and that is what it takes to kind of have that harmony all blend together. What are your thoughts? Is that something that you guys can get behind, or do you feel the objective should truly still be balanced? You know, I, I, I hear what you're saying, because life is a dance. Life is, it's, it's, a, it's a highs and lows, and the ability for me to recognize where I'm at, recognize when I'm not in balance. And, and <clears throat> you're right, it's not really balanced. There's, there's like another word, I don't know, harmonious also has that kind of different kind of connotation to me. Maybe it's just feeling valued and feeling like I'm on a path and and knowing that it, it'll all work out. And, and that's the piece where, when we talk about gratitude for me, it's looking back and saying, wow, I'm really grateful for all these things that typically I would take for granted. And then there's the other side, which is, you know, the, okay, where am I going? Um, what do I want? What does my subconscious need? Uh, and I feel like that's that, you know, resiliency is the other word that kind of comes to mind in this. It's the ability for me to switch out of, let's just say negative thoughts. It's the ability for me to, um, you know, roll with the punches. Uh, it's the ability for me to, uh, feel like I belong and that I have a close circle of friends who've got my back, uh, feeling like I'm not alone. And that particular one, the feeling like I'm not alone piece has been my limiting belief for so long, most of my upbringing, et cetera, you know, um, and that's been a really big challenge for me. You know, it's been the, the, the one that kind of keeps me in my programming and the one that um, I've been working on for so long to attain that harmonious state. So let me ask a follow-up question, Vince. You mentioned right there at the end about that limiting belief. How has that manifested itself in your day-to-day, week-to-week, month-to-month behaviors? What, what, how has that shown up? You know, you, you, I, I get these kind of like feelings of, you know, uh, I mean, it, it's, 
loneliness or abandonment is the other way of looking at that too. Um, for me, it's uh, filling my time with, I don't know, could be anything from doom scrolling on social media to binge watching shows or, you know, doing things that uh, I don't necessarily want to do. I feel like I need to do for some unexplainable reason, maybe. It's, it's filling my time with stuff and and that stuff is not with intention. So for me, how I get through that, uh, I've noticed, is I reach out to mentors. They've been amazing kind of guides and, um, and they realign my energy. And that's where, you know, noticing and being aware of where my energy is and those little kind of uh, chatter in the back of your brain, you know, it's the typical, uh, you got the two little uh, good, good and bad, <clears throat> whichever one's talking to you in your subconscious uh, and driving you to do things that you acknowledge may not be good for you or not adding value to my life. Um, and then, and then it's that switching. Like, how do you, how do you switch out of that mindset? How do you move forward and um, achieve and feel like I belong? Interesting. I asked that question for a very specific reason, because we are kindred spirits in that limiting belief and, and that particular part of our mindset. So that's been a challenge for me as well. The exact same thing of, you know, feeling like um, nobody cares or it's just me or I'm all alone. So I wanted to ask how it manifests itself for you. And it from your description, it sounds like there's a lot of quote unquote distraction. And we'll just use a, as a, su a summary word. You find ways to distract yourself. Uh, for me, it, what it's done is um, I take on this, I'll just do it myself yeah. attitude mentality. Yeah. Right? Um, and, and not being willing to um, let others in to help, or even more importantly, ask. Yeah for that help right uh and and that has its own detriment so that's that is that is part of as we were talking about how we even got into this this part of this was talking about you know finding that balance how do we you know better manifest that for ourselves in our lives by having being more open being willing to ask for help uh, and as you said you, you reach out to your mentors and try to you know, recenter yourself right so that you continue to move forward but the most important piece of that is, I think, as we, you discuss, and same thing for me is that realization and acceptance of where that's coming from. And now you can make an attempt to do something about it, right? Mm -hmm.